Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Magnum Running, professional running blog of me, Kevin Ray Devine. It is uh, September the 20th and we're here at Lost Province, a uh, new bar and pizza place in Boone. Uh, just had our Stick Boy 5K this morning. Uh, so we got the crew out. But some of you can do, if you uh, look closely, some of you see from uh, Tap Room last week. But um, just want to check in and I'll catch you guys later. Roll Tide. Hey, back. Uh, it is now Sunday morning. Uh, about to hop on the bike here in my room behind me. I uh, just watched uh, my boy uh, Joe Stillen. He just ran the um, U.S. Track and Field 5K Road Championships. Um, and uh, he was leading to the first part. I think he kind of faded off the back for a little bit. It seemed like it was a really, um, it was kind of a tough race. It was some headwind, and uh, I think it was a really fast finish. There were some really good guys in there. But, uh, um, Good to see Joe back racing, getting back in shape, and um, hopefully making my way there as well. See what's been going on. Uh, we had last week, we had our last adult camp. Really cool, really cool people from all over. I mean, like six countries or so. Um, and uh, so we finished up that. Now we have, I think, about three more um, college teams coming on uh, to stay with us uh, sometime soon. And then we just had our Stick Boy 5K yesterday. I think we had about 330 runners, which is really good for small town of Blowing Rock and all the Zep guys and and uh, all the volunteers um, did really awesome and um, it was a beautiful day and definitely making me want to get back out there and start running as soon as possible. Um, the uh, hip getting better, uh, working out a lot of stuff, working out a lot of the kinks, getting some PT work done, um, you know, making sure I'm on my stretching, on my, on my rolling out drills and all that. Um, and I think coming up here pretty soon, I'm going to be heading back to Chattanooga, uh, probably end of next week, and going to be cheering on, going to be coming home for the uh, Ironman Triathlon. So if you're in Chattanooga, come down, or if you're around, it uh, should be all Sunday morning, probably kicks off around like 8 or so, and uh, come see me down there. But uh, yeah, I think um, yeah, that's it for now. Oh, Nala just had, uh, we had her one-year adoption uh, party. It was on Wednesday, so I successfully have kept her alive in my care for one week or for one year minus the two weeks that I lost her but you know we're not we're not keeping score on that uh, but yeah no it was a lot of fun went out with uh, some of my friends last night met some cool people um, so definitely enjoying uh, being up here in the country or out in the middle of the country and, and Bowling Rock and Boone and um, looking forward to uh, up to the fall so it's starting to get cold up here uh, Leaves are changing a little bit here and there. You can kind of tell uh, they're drying up and some leaves are falling. So it should be a really pretty, but I heard it's supposed to be a really harsh winter up here. Um, that's what everybody's predicting, but we'll see. You can never tell. And plus, we end up getting out of here around mid-December anyway. So hopefully, if it does, if it is a hard one, we'll miss the, uh, you know, the biggest chunk of it. So, but uh, yeah, I'll check in with y'all here in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to get on the bike. Spin for a little bit. I watch some Netflix or something. And uh, oh, here we go. There's knowledge just brought in a mouse. Okay. And I got to take care of that. And I'll be back. Hey guys, and I'm back. And we caught the mouse. Took care of it. Uh, Nala wasn't too happy when I put it back outside, but I'm sure she'll probably find it again tomorrow, anyways. But uh, had a good spin. Uh, wrapping up, uh, it's now Sunday night and had a good dinner, a little bit of leftovers from John cooking last week and he's going to come back and, uh, fix us up something really tasty, uh, tomorrow, but, um, yeah, about to retire for the evening, probably, um, read a little bit, uh, my air conditioner about to kick on, I'm turn it off, there we go, and, um, been reading, uh, I, I blew through, um, Dan Brown, uh, The Da Vinci Code, uh, that my buddy Kurt told me to read, and, Really glad I did. Awesome book. Burned through it. Definitely, uh, I suggest if you haven't read it, check it out. Um, and now, I, I actually kind of skipped around, and I'm reading um, Inferno, uh, which I think is based loosely off of uh, Dante's Inferno with the layers of hell and all that stuff. So, um, looking forward to that. Uh, I'm a couple chapters in now, and it's really good. Kind of confusing, trying to catch up on some things. Um, and let's see what else. Oh, uh, well, so we got new people at Zap. So, uh, John Simons, he was the guy... At the very beginning of the video, he was the one sitting right beside me, I think, trying to lick my ear or something. Um, but 
really cool guy. Glad to have him on the team and um, really pumped. He brings uh, uh, some definite, uh, I think he has a lot of potential. Uh, was a very, I mean, what, not a very low, but he was kind of a lower mileage guy in college. So I think under our system of uh, a little bit higher mileage, more strength work, I think he's going to do really well. Um, and then we have Andrew Colley from NC State coming in. Uh, next weekend, which I think I'll, I might miss him when he first gets here, but uh, I've hung with him a couple times. And real cool guy, really, um, really talented as well. Uh, so I mean, we're definitely uh, uh, boosting our uh, zap, our zap roster um, with some with some solid guys who hopefully uh, you know get them on some teams in 2016. So uh, you know, in with the new, and uh, we had uh, we had Mary. Uh, she decided to leave zap. Um, known about it for a little bit, but uh, she, uh, you know, hey, it's tough, uh, and everybody, uh, you know, you got to find what you do, and you got to find what you love, and uh, she, uh, she's actually pretty close by. She just moved over to Johnson City. Uh, she's dating a guy. She's been dating a guy uh, over there for a while, so uh, definitely going to miss her. Uh, she's one of my really good friends, and so I always enjoyed hanging out with her and definitely enjoyed, uh, you know, the memories we had and running together and steeplechasing together, so uh, it was a lot of fun having her here, and I, you know, I'm sure I'll see her uh, pretty soon. She'll be kind of back and forth, anyways. But uh, you know, I kind of wish her the best of luck, uh, and I know she's going to do awesome whatever she decides to do. She's going to keep running. Uh, I think she's focusing on some trail races, and uh, she talks about one actually. Uh, there's a stump jump, 50k, and, and there's like a another race, like a 10k. It's up on top of uh, like Raccoon Mountain, um, so I think she's going to possibly do that. So. That'd be cool. Maybe get be able to go home and uh, cheer her on. But uh, anyways, I'm going to wrap this blog up for this week. Hope everybody's doing great. Make sure to check out uh, Reebok.com uh, for all your running and workout apparel um, and swag. Make sure to check out. Um, well, actually, I got this new shirt from them, a little prototype that they just sent me. Really cool. Uh, it's like kind of a nylon, but it's like it's really, really, really soft, and there's like some subtle patterns on the shoulder that's kind of hard to see in here, and there's this like kind of cool reflective bar thing. So uh, if they made our uniforms out of this, I wouldn't be mad at them if you're watching that. Uh, I wear a medium. So um, I'll make sure to check out uh, also Solus Watches. Uh, you know, they keep us running and keep us timed. Uh, you can always find me, Karen Magna Bean, at magnumrunning.weebly.com. Uh, you can always follow me on Twitter, which I actually just got back on. I got locked out for some reason. I got a new phone, forgot my password, big saga with Twitter. But randomly, I was able to get back on. Don't know exactly know how, but um, you can always find me on Instagram and on Twitter, at Cron City. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Check out zapfitness.com. We got our camps uh, up for next year. We already got people signing up for next year, which is crazy. We had We had a guy who signed up for next year's camp before he even left this camp so i mean i hope i mean that speaks volumes for us and we're glad that everybody's enjoying uh our stuff and glad that we can definitely uh, give back and kind of be a a niche for runners so uh if you haven't been thinking about it hopefully next year make a make plans to do a long weekend or maybe even the week camp leading up to the bear um come to a vacation where you can actually leave and instead of gain five pounds you might lose five pounds um but anyways, hope everybody's doing great. Love you guys. Uh, keep you posted. Uh, just going to be, you know, chilling in the high country, healing this hip, getting it together, staying in shape. And uh, I'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.